this is Teacher Waltz. As you already know, I had a brief hiatus in my postings, so I'm welcoming myself back. I just came back from a series of trips, so now I'm ready to work again. Um, and yeah, they are very rejuvenating and fun. I would like to repeat them. Today I'm sharing activity sheets that I have created prior to going to these trips. I hope to be able to create a module tomorrow, so watch out for that. And I'm going to be showing you the activity sheets that I created, so watch until the end of this video so that you can determine whether it's something that you can use this year, okay? If you know, you will be able to use them comment your email address down below but when you do please 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 double check your email address because it breaks my heart when I send copies to those email addresses that you provide however they come back undelivered because your email address is invalid so um, that's a quick announcement thank you for subscribing by the way thank you so much so we're already at 1700 subscriptions so please do uh, encourage your friends your co-teachers to subscribe thousands have already received copies of the materials that are in our videos and uh, it pains me when someone doesn't receive those copies 49 emails came back and delivered now that i want to get these materials out to you so charge that to my heart if you are one of them please comment down below and let me know which materials you are missing and thank you for your patience by the way i do really appreciate that and please understand that sometimes it might take three days four days or even a week for me to be able to send them to you so again charge that to my heart okay let us look at the activity sheets that I created for you. And tomorrow I'll be creating a module. All right, let's look at them. Okay, let's see how these activity sheets look like. The first thing is the name of the student, the date when they're filling them out. G stands for grade five, quarter one, week one but this set of materials or activity sheets are good for weeks one and two so please keep that in mind and here this is so uh, math five number sense and here is the learning competency that you need to be working on during the first two weeks of school so if you're a fifth grade teacher or maybe a fourth grade teacher who will be working on the visibility rules towards the end of this school year and you if you think that you will need these activity sheets please request for copies leave your email address a valid email address down below so you can get copies of these learning materials okay this space is on the visibility rules 2 5 and 10 the students are going to be writing the numbers, for example, 246. So they're going to write this number in either the, the first column, in the second column, or in the third column. And they will do that for all of these numbers. Okay. If you do want your students to be working on them separately, I created this activity sheet that is only for numbers that are divisible by two. So they are going to color each tortoise that has a number divisible by two. It is still on the same learning competency, okay? It's still on the visible to rules for two, five, and ten to find the common factors of numbers. Let's look at the third activity sheet. Again, it's on the same learning competency, but it is only on numbers divisible by five if you have a group of students who are uh, going at a pace that is lower than their peers give them these activity sheets separately this is for divisible by 10 this activity sheet is still for week one grade five quarter one week one here's the learning competency it's divisibility rules 
3, 6, and 9. Again, if you want to teach them separately, go ahead and use this activity sheet for numbers divisible by 3. Here's for 6 divisible by 9. This is going to be for week 2. Notice that it says grade 5, quarter 1, week 2. Now the learning competency changed. Now it's on 58.3. It's on uses divisible to rules for 4, 8, 12, and 11 to find common factors. By now, during the second week, your students should have already picked up the pattern. So when you send this activity sheet out to them, they already know that they are to write all of these numbers in the appropriate columns. For students again, who will be needing that scaffolding, you can send them this activity sheet that is only going to be for divisibility to rules for, for the number four. Again, they're going to be coloring each banana that has a number divisible by four, divisible by eight, and I hope you will find these activity sheets to be helpful to you and especially your students because they are the beneficiaries of our hard work. Let me know. Comment down below your valid email address, please. Pay attention to capitalization and periods in your email address to make sure that my emails will go through, okay? And you will be getting your copies. All right, remember, you're appreciated for everything that you do that is good. God bless you from the bottom of my heart. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and leave your comment down below.